this video guys I'll show you how to download and install Ubuntu version 20 which is the latest version of Ubuntu that you can download and install right now I'll show you how to install it into your Windows operating system which might be your current operating system for your computer and we are going to use VirtualBox which is a program that virtualize your uh, computer and create different virtual machines where you can download different operating system without impacting your base operating system and your computer and without damaging it and running very smooth so let's get started with this video without losing any more time so in order to do that you have to download two things the first thing is virtual box which is a program that I explained to you before this can create different virtual machines with different operating systems onto your computer and you can run them without impacting your Windows so you can download it in this link you're gonna find the link on the description as always and here is the download for Windows for Mac OS Intel host or for the M1 or M2 chips for Mac OS but today I'm in Windows so I'll go ahead and download it for Windows host and this will download immediately and then you have to install it but I have currently installed it and the second thing is to download Ubuntu so go ahead again to this link you can find the link on the description for downloading Ubuntu and here you're gonna find the Ubuntu version 22 which is the latest version or you can find the LTS or 22.10 the LTS basically is just a version which stands for long-term support and it is lighter download you can download it faster it's less megabytes to download but you can also download 22.10 which is the one I will download today you can choose between both of them is the same thing so just click on download and this will start to download the ISO file that which you need to install it but I have already downloaded so I will cancel it right now okay now let's get started to install Ubuntu into virtual machine so what you have to do is to open a uh, virtual box after installing it and here is virtual box and you can create different virtual machines on here what you have to do is just to click on new just click on new and here you have to put a name I just put Ubuntu and here here I'll choose Linux and here you leave uh, Ubuntu 64 bit so then you have to click next and here you have to choose the memory that you want to use for your virtual machine or for your Ubuntu operating system and here I'll choose I'll choose 8 gigabyte of RAM you can choose how many you want depends on how much memory you have in your current computer but for now choose 8 gigabytes of RAM so here is 8 gigabytes and click next then you have to leave this option create virtual hard disk now and then click on create and then you have to choose uh, FDI as here virtual box disk image click on next then uh, leave dynamically all allocated and click on next then here you have to choose how many gigabytes you want for this disk or the operating system that you are installing so you can choose how much you want for now I'll choose just uh, 50 gigabytes I don't need more for my Ubuntu okay I'll leave it 50 gigabytes and click on create then it is created and here on the Ubuntu 20 with which I just created you have to click on settings because we need to uh, add some things on here so we'll go through them one by one just go to system first and here you can again you can edit your memory if you can if you want to add more or you can go to processors and choose how many processors you want for vi this virtual machine I recommend you to put as much as you want but anyways uh, Ubuntu is not that uh, very big operating system that and doesn't need a lot of processors the more processors you, you choose the faster it's gonna be so I'll choose uh, about five and then you can go go to acceleration and leave it as default then go to display and put this on to 128 megabytes and then go to storage and here on storage you have to click on this empty here because we need to add the ISO file on here and then click on the the disk icon just uh, click on this and then choose a disk file then go to your downloads and choose Ubuntu 22 uh, the desktop AMD 64 that ISO which we did on download from the website so click on that and open it then it is chosen and what you have to do for the other options are okay so audio network serial ports and everything else is okay then you have to just to click okay then what you have to do is just to click on start this is going to start the operating system and start the installation then click on start okay so now here we have some options so try or install Ubuntu Ubuntu save graphics OEM and install and test memory so yeah you're gonna choose the first options just move your with your arrow keys on the keyboard and click enter okay now the Ubuntu is going to start uh, installation and just choose your language that you want to continue so English and I'll click on install Ubuntu then choose your keyboard layout so my keyboard is English so I'll keep uh, with that 
and click on continue then updates normal installation uh, if you want uh, the different programs different utilities you just can go with normal installation or if you just want the basic apps for this uh, operating system you can go with minimal but for now I'll go with that and I'll also uncheck this because I don't need to download updates while installing Ubuntu so just click on continue and here you have to choose erase disk and install Ubuntu don't worry this is going to erase only the disk of the virtual machine is not going to impact into your computer so just click install now click on continue now choose your location and click on continue now put a name for this uh, I'll just put my name and then you have to put a password and then you're gonna check login automatically or you can require my password to log in then click on continue and here is uh, copying files and installing the operating system Okay guys, the installation is done now and it's asking for restart. So just click on restart now and the virtual machine will restart and start again. So here it shows me, please remove the installation medium and press enter. What do you have to do? Just click on enter and that's all. Okay, now the operating system started and what I have to do is here is your username. Just click on that and put the password that we choose before and then click on enter. Then it's going to start the operating system and here is the Ubuntu and we are running on currently on a Windows computer. So as you can see, I am in a Windows computer and I'm running the operating system that I want, which is Ubuntu version 20. And here it is. I can close this Google and here is the operating system and it's really fast and you can run it really smooth and do anything you want you can basically use this for programming or for development which everyone is using so as you can see here we are on a resolution that is limited and with or even if we make the windows bigger it is going to stay like this but there is a solution for that and i'll show you right now how to fix that you have to go to menu here and go click on devices and insert guest the additional cd image so just click on this insert and immediately into your operating system this is going to show this disk and what you're going to do is just to double click on that okay so here we got some files and what you have to do is to right click on on this place and click on open in terminal and if you type a last you here are all the files and we have to run this file here so just uh, copy this right click copy and you have to type sudo dot slash and paste right click and paste and then press enter put the password and this is going to install additional modules and everything we need for the operating system now what you have to do is to restart your virtual machines to for the changes to be made so just click on this icon on on top click on icon again and restart restart now go ahead and log in to your ubuntu and if you go full screen, you can see that we are now on full screen and the resolution is fixed and we got everything on here without any problem. So as you can see, this is the operating system Ubuntu version 20 and it's really good and really fast. You can use this for anything and it runs really smoothly. You can run the uh, terminal and run different commands and do anything for development. This is mostly used here. You can see we are running Windows 11 on and also Ubuntu version 22 into this computer. So here we are Ubuntu and Windows on the same computer without damaging or doing anything like that. Okay guys, this was our video for today. Hope you like it. Please smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and see you in the next video. Peace.